Well, alrighty, Crooked River, we're back for our final and last rules roundup video. And today we're gonna to be focusing on the playground. So Mr. Stefanik's gonna go over some safety uh, rules and expectations for when you guys are out on the playground. So the first thing I wanna remind everybody of is horseplay. And a lot of you guys have heard what Mr. Stefanik said about keeping your hands to yourself, feet to yourself, and even your body to yourself. I know it's a lot of fun and excitement out here at recess, but when you start using your hands and you push or you hit or even pretend to push or pretend to hit or kick or even body slam people by falling on them, that usually leads to somebody getting hurt, somebody getting upset, and then people getting in trouble. So if you can follow those three basic rules when you're out at recess, keep your hands to yourself, keep your feet to yourself and your body to yourself, you're gonna be safe other people are going to be safe and you're also going to be uh, you won't be getting in trouble a couple other things i want to talk about out at recess is we've got a lot of open field here and a lot of you guys like to play tag that's a great game there's a lot of fun with tag but again that goes back to with our hands make sure you're being safe and responsible with your hands and your feet when you're playing tag no slapping no pushing no hitting it's just a real simple tag you're it Okay. If it goes beyond that, again, you're probably going to hurt somebody or upset somebody or uh, and it leads to horseplay and then somebody's going to get hurt and then probably in trouble also. One thing I want to give you guys a warning on is the blacktop out here. So we got the bus loop where we got a lot of blacktop out here. The blacktop is really rough. If you're going to run on the blacktop, I'm just giving you a warning. Please be careful. If you trip and fall or wipe out when you're on the blacktop, it's going to hurt. We've already had a handful of students already this year come up with some bloody knees, bloody elbows, some little holes in their hands because of when they landed on the blacktop, it's, it hurts. It's very rough. So be very, very careful when you come out to recess and you start to run on the blacktop. Now, if you can see over here, we have a breezeway right here. So when you come out the doors, we don't want you guys running in the breezeway. I know it's fun and exciting as you guys come through the doors, you know, to recess or right after lunch and you're booking it out here to get to your favorite ball or favorite spot on the playground, but we gotta have no running in the breezeway. And the reason why is because we've got students and adults kind of coming in and through there. Maybe if they gotta go to the restroom or uh, they gotta go to the office for some reason. If you just blow through that door and you throw it open, it could hit somebody. And then if you start taking off running through that breezeway, you could run into somebody and cause an accident. So the breezeway is a no run zone. The blacktop is okay. Once you get out here onto the sidewalk out from underneath the breezeway, that is okay. But under the breezeway, under that roof, no run zone. I also wanna talk real quickly about recess equipment. Mr. Stefanik was able to purchase some uh, rolling bins and I filled them up full of balls and jump ropes and all kinds of really cool things. But we gotta make sure we're also being responsible with our recess equipment. So if you got a basketball or a ball and you're playing with it, you're shooting hoops, or you're playing soccer out in the grass, or you're uh, playing football, we gotta make sure that we're being respectful, responsible, and safe with it. We don't throw the balls at other people. Again, we do not throw the balls at other people. That could hurt them, okay? It could cause an injury. When you're playing football, we don't play tackle. Again, that is a two-hand touch, soft touch. That's how we know the person's down. When we're playing soccer or we're playing tag or we're playing any other game that has to do with recess equipment or not, we don't trip. Yesterday, I had some uh, kiddos that were being unsafe and they were playing around and tripping each other just out of fun. A student got hurt we don't trip okay so remember that when we have recess equipment and balls we got to be safe with them same thing with the jump ropes okay the jump rope is made for jump roping it's not made to whip around or hit other people with it's made for jump roping only and you want to make sure you use it responsibly so please use the recess equipment responsibly there's a lot of fun to be had out here recess is a great time for you guys to run burn some energy and have some fun, but please remember to always be safe, be respectful, be responsible, and of course, the most important, be kind. Crooked River, you guys have a good day, and be safe.